Hey guys, Emily from Foodbox HQ here. Today, we're talking about iGourmet. iGourmet is an online marketplace that specializes in, you guessed it, gourmet foodstuffs. So let's see what's in our box. So depending on when you order your box, you know, in hotter months, they might send it with some dry ice. So always be careful when you're opening up. Looks like we have some petite toasts. We have some milk chocolate and peppermint chocolate quinoa crisps, crispy biscuits, some butter crisps. Looks like we have some spreads here. Got the bubble wrap. We have a green olive spread and a honey and balsamic Dijon mustard. And then in the refrigeration section here, we have some ice packs. Looks like we have some antipasto. We have some more salami, some jambon sec. We have some New Zealand cheddar, some DOP fresco, some provolone picante, and last but certainly not least, some goat cheese truffle. So let's get organized and talk about how this works. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, iGourmet is an online marketplace that specializes in that high-end gourmet foodstuffs that you might not be able to find at your local stores. So things like cured meats, specialty cheeses, even desserts. They have gift boxes, so you can choose from a ton of different ideas, whether those are boxes from specific countries, whether that's Italian cheeses, or you can look at things that are focused on types of cooking. There are pasta boxes. They even have subscriptions so that you can get tastes from all around the world every month They've got three, six, and 12 month subscriptions. So just check out their site to see which ones you wanna go with. So we actually have one of the premium boxes today. We're really excited to do a taste test of this. So we're gonna set up a charcuterie board, get some of our meats and cheeses so that we can give you an idea of what might come in your box. So let's get prepping. All right, now let's try some of these cheeses. So we're gonna start with the provolone. So this said that it was a picante provolone, so that's a little spicy, so I'm, or peppery. So I'm curious to see what this tastes like. It smells cheesy. That's nice. I'm very used to very like slim provolone, the thin sliced stuff that you get at the deli, but that has a little bit of a peppery aftertaste, but it's not overwhelming. Still pretty mild, not super sharp, but I like that. I like that a lot. Let's have a little bit of the French ham. So we'll get a little piece here. Let's put that on a little toast. Mm. I expected that to be like a prosciutto and it is but it's a little bit sweeter, just slightly um, slightly less salty than I expected, but still delicious and obviously pairs well with those toasts. I'm excited to try the olive tapenade though. I know it's going to be very salty, but I love salt. A little bit of that, spread that on. Wow, it was very olivey. I think it probably would be good with some cheese on top of it to kind of cut the flavor. I love olives, but that straight is a lot, so you'll definitely wanna pair that with something. All right, on to our next cheese. We're gonna try the DOP. I don't know anything about this cheese, so let's see how it goes. Not super hard, not super dry. Creamy, mild flavor, but still has a little bit of a kick to it. It's not like a super, super creamy, creamy. Not a very strong taste. It's not like a, a very strong smelling cheese or anything like that, but it's very nice. Almost like a, and bear with me, I don't mean like a fresh mozzarella, but almost like a mozzarella stick, but better flavored. <laughs> now we have some salami left and that cheddar. So we're gonna have a piece of the salami. Looks like it might be a little bit spicy. It's got a little bit of that red tone to it. Mm. Always delicious. I could eat this for dinner every night. I don't need a real meal. I could just eat this. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna try the cheddar. I don't know that I've ever had a New Zealand cheddar. Usually have the ones from Vermont. Nice consistency, sharp, but not overly sharp. Nice and creamy, has a ton of flavor to it. Man, I love cheese and meat. You really can't go wrong. So 
I'm gonna go probably eat the rest of this board by myself and I'll see you in a little bit for some final thoughts. All right, so now that I am full to the brim with cheese, let's just do a quick wrap up on iGourmet. They have such a wide selection of all of these different high-end spreads and meats and cheeses, and those cheeses were absolutely delicious. Now, I am not new to cheese. I love cheese and I will eat probably any type of cheese, but these cheeses were really, really good. They were different than something I would typically get, plus those pairings of things like the olive spread, plus the charcuterie, really knocked it out of the park. They have a lot of different options. They have great gift options, different themes that you can pick from. Those are gonna change seasonally as well. Or you can look at their subscription boxes. So they'll have, you know, Italian cheeses of the month or cheeses from around the world. And you can do those in three, six or 12 month increments. And the first thing that I thought of was doing a monthly cheese and wine pairing night with all of my friends. So if you're looking for some really high-end gourmet foodstuffs, click the link below and check out iGourmet.